So I have been doing or have been using the Insta360 Ace Pro and my X4 a lot with my new Senna helmet. And the communication between the two allows me to be able to record what's going through the center, Senna intercom. Now, again, this doesn't work with all Sennas, I don't believe. Depends on which one you have, definitely with the newer models, but it allows me to record that. So I don't have to have any extra microphone stuff in my helmet, which I like. The other thing I really like, which not a lot of people talk about, is that let's say the Insta360 or, or, or GoPro or any camera, if you have a mic plugged into it, like an, an additional microphone plugged into it, you lose a lot of your waterproofing because that port is now open and it doesn't have the seal anymore. So because of that, for a lot of us, this is what I used to have to do all the time, is if it was raining, I could record video, but I'd have to unplug all the mic stuff so that the unit, the camera, stayed, stayed waterproof. Not the case anymore, because all that's sealed, and it's just a Bluetooth connection between the devices, which is awesome. I like to ride with other people, and... This summer, there will be a lot of bigger rides going on some roads that I think are going to be really fun and probably a fairly challenging. Being able to record the communication between everybody is uh, high on my list because I think it'll be really interesting to be able to hear what we're all talking about. Our friends over at Senna, uh, who provided the helmet, also provided this cool mesh port red. Now, the mesh port red, what it does, as you can see here, Bluetooth to mesh intercom adapter for your phone or tablet PC. Now, it says phone or tablet, but it's also for, I know, the Insta360. Now, I don't know if it's for GoPros, but I do know that the Insta360 will connect to this. They've told me, and they sent it to me and said it should work just like a champ, like a champ, like a charm, like something, like good things that are happening. Anyways... Uh, basically what happens is you have your mesh, which all your Senna's that support mesh. So I think it's like the 50C, the 50S, uh, there's one of the other comms that they have is strictly just mesh. I can't remember which one that is, but you can look it up on Senna's website as well as their, uh, helmets, which is what I use. I actually use the impulse helmet. Basically, once you set the channel on those, so let's say for me, I'm actually using channel two uh, on those systems. Basically what happens is this turns on and then you connect it to channel two, which means it becomes one of the devices on the channel two mesh network. So it joins in with the comms. So if you're riding with one other person or six other people, whatever, um, and then your Insta360 connects to it via Bluetooth and then your Insta360 can record the whole conversation. Again, nothing hanging off your helmet or anything like this. Well, this, this I, could, I guess you could somehow stick it to your helmet, but my guess is I should be able to attach this somewhere on the motorcycle via like a handlebar mount or, I don't know, throw it in a tank bag or, or whatever it is. Um, but anyways, this is this mesh intercom. As you can see on the back here, Bluetooth 4.1. So it's not Bluetooth 5. My hope would be down the road possibly maybe in a mesh port red version two if that ever decides to rear its head uh bluetooth 4.1 uh mesh intercom 800 meters now 800 meters that means that's how far you can be from your bluetooth device to this i'm going to cut that in half say 400 meters because that's you know anything outside of that then you start getting interference stuff on a perfect scenario yes 800 meters i get it uh, but I i'm literally going to be like i don't know maximum a couple feet away from it so not an, an issue uh, dc power for charging and firmware upgrade port multifunction bluetooth and the status light yes very cool uh, what else comes in this here box i don't know i don't know but i have like i said uh, this isn't going to be necessarily a test video for it because uh it'll be probably when you well when you guys were see this video uh i'll have probably been using it for my guess is a couple of weeks. So the hope is that I can find one or two of the guys that I'll be riding with mostly this summer that also use Senna's. Uh, we can go out for at least one good group ride and try to record the whole thing, which I think will be awesome. Well, not the whole thing, but at least enough to figure out what's going on. 
Uh, anyways, you get a Meshport Red Quick Starter Guide, which is cool. That's your multifunction button. Uh, it does say you hit the power button. Um, power button equals this. I don't know what that means. Full version of the Quick Start can be downloaded. All right. I look at the front thing and I'm like, I don't know what's happening. Anyways, we can figure it out. We'll figure it out. Anyways, you do get a Quick Start Guide. You get They're nice, nice good size manuals though. So I'm, I'm down with that. That's always something you guys know for me is important. You get a little antenna, you get the mesh port. So this is just going to go together. Now, the other thing that I don't have, but if you have an older Senna, so let's say you have a 10S or a 20S or a 30S or whatever, whatever number it is that doesn't have mesh, you can actually buy the Senna uh, mesh port blue. And the mesh port blue allows older Senna's to get mesh. And basically what those do is that Bluetooth, instead of me using a camera, the Bluetooth connects to the mesh port blue and the mesh port blue is connected to the mesh. So you, you get that benefit. If you just have an old column that you're like, I don't, I don't want to update to a new one. I'd rather just buy this. So that, that would be good. Anyways, that's it. It looks, it looks nice and heavy duty. You do have, uh, it almost looks like a almost like a GoPro-ish style slide-in kind of thing for, for s clicking it in there. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. I don't know. Um, but nice and red, nice and red because it's mesh port red. Uh, you can tell this is a little bit, I'll say a little bit older just because it's micro USB. So again, I'd love to see them come up with another one that uses USB-C. And I don't know if there's anything else. I don't think so. So just make sure if you are going through any kind of rain, this is something that you want to make sure is sealed up because that's that's your port, right? Uh, you do get this. So this is what you and I would mount somewhere on our bike or our helmet or whatever. I am definitely going to mount this on my bike somewhere. So it's got a nice little 3M sticker on the bottom. And of course, that's that you put somewhere and then you just, you just, you know, just slide that on and click and you're, you're ready to rock and roll. So I'll probably put this in a spot somewhere that's accessible so I can hit the button, but we'll also have it so that maybe it's not as in your face. You know what I mean? And then this antenna can spin or bend, whatever, just to make sure you get the best reception that you can. Uh, you are going to get your micro USB. It's a right angle, which is good to USB a that's going to be, they say for charging and for doing firmware updates. Uh, oh, I took it off. I took it off too early. Look at that. They have different kinds of mounts. So this one here, uh, oh, that's cool. This one here, if you just wanted to wear it, I guess wear it on your belt or wear it on whatever, it's like a belt clip that goes there. So that's kind of nice. I like that. I didn't think it came with that, but it, but it does. And you get like a rubber handlebar mount. So this is the one I'm going to use. I'll just use this. Now again, it all depends. It, for me, I don't ride all the time with other people. So of course I'm not going to have this with me all the time. So being able to take it on and off the bike is going to be nice. So maybe I don't want this one so I can just take this off. And you could, you could just be like, you know what? I'm just going to keep it on the bike and just hide it there. And this is coming off somehow. I'll, I'll, I'll say it. If you hold it in your hand, it's actually hard to get off. But this would again normally be down on the, on something. So if it's flat and you push this down, then it slides off nice and easy. So just kind of be aware. I think it has to be laying flat, but this is going to be the one. Nope. This is going to be the one that I'm going to use because I got lots of handlebar space and that will go on there perfectly. Again, I'll just kind of have to figure out which way I want it depending on the antenna. And then this will just clamp in and fold. Yes. Yes. Okay, so now what happens is this is going to have to turn on. As far as I know, when you turn it on originally, uh, it is going to connect to your, uh, or will possibly be able to connect to your uh, Bluetooth. Now, the first thing I think you need to do or you should do, uh, as I'm going to bring up my Bluetooth here, just so you guys can see it, we are going to go to the bottom. I'm going to mush, mush. I'm going to mush some of that over, just mush it on over, and we're going to hold this i think you just you just you just click it i'm guessing it should just turn on if it has battery life oh there it is so you'll see that it by default it's just because it doesn't have anything pairing yet yes so uh the other thing is just to make sure this has battery so i just want to because there's no speaker in it right that comes up and says hey so let's just see if this finds anything 
And this is where my Insta360, normally you would do this to look too, right? But I wanna see if you use the app, if you can actually get change channels and or uh, be able to uh, update firmware, et cetera, et cetera. So it comes up and just says audio for me, I'm guessing. So I'm guessing this is it. So I'm gonna tap on that. My hope is, yeah, see, it just went green and then went, there it goes. So connected, it's nice. Now, the other thing you need is that you actually see that it's your Senna mesh port app. So I'm gonna tap on that. And as you can see, it sees the mesh port red, which we'll tap on. Current firmware, yes, yes. Oh, latest firmware, so there is a big update. So if I tap on that, can I do, uh, uh, oh, so you can, see, I can set my channel. So I'm gonna actually set this to channel two, because that's the one that we use. So easy to set up here. I'm wondering, can I update firmware? There's gotta be a way to, current firmware, latest firmware. How do I change the firmware? Now, I don't know if it just automatically will find the firmware. Now, it does have, there's your manual, just so you guys can see it, right? If, so if you wanna go in and, and see your, your full manual, there it is. But let's go back in here and see if I can get this to do a firmware update. It even says, just so you guys can see, it has changed it now to say in my Bluetooth settings, mesh part red version 1.1.1, 1 .1 which again, I'm hoping that this will possibly do its firmware update all by itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just tinker around because I've just restarted the app and the app came up and just said, no. No, no, it is flashing. Let's turn it off for a minute. Again, you can't you can't do anything except hold this. And I'm I'm guessing now it's blue. I'll have to I'll have to read the manual. Yes, I'm gonna read the manual. We will we will figure out what's going on. So give me a couple of seconds and I'll be right back. So we are move that over. We are uh at the computer upstairs and we've got the Senna Bluetooth device manager up online. So my hope is that's going to be able to find the actual uh, Bluetooth file and do the update. So we're going to plug this in here and see how this works. We do have, you may get to see that, we do have again the charging light, but my hope is that we are going to just, oh, we got a blue light now. We got a blue light on here. I don't know if there's anything here yet. No, maybe that just means just fully charged. So let's just turn this on. Uh, and we got a blue light. Oh, well, it's got a flashy light on it right now. Let's just see what happens, if anything at all. Press next to proceed. It tells you which devices. So, it says other center products not listed, uh, just powered on. Okay, then press next. All right, I'm good. Uh, leave it on. It says recognizing device. I guess that's good. Now, the other thing that may be important is that you kind of have to follow instructions ready for device recognition hit next and that now maybe you turn it on ready oh look it actually came up when i it was it's still off so it's being powered but it's off new firmware is now available so you want to have it plugged in but you don't necessarily want it turned on so it's off but you can see that the blue light is on there but no lights on in the front. So it is off just kind of in maybe like a USB mode. So it says, do you want to update? And I'm going to say yes. Uh, it's going to download a, a file. So I'm going to tell that to download into my downloads. Yes. And there, there it goes. So this will depend again on how fast your computer is, will depend on how fast your internet is, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm gonna wait for this to finish and we'll see see how long it takes. There you go. So it took probably about a minute. Latest version, version 1.4.2, Meshport Red. We're all good. So you can't do the firmware update from the app itself. You can select channels via the app. Now I also believe that you can select channels directly from the app, of course, so that if you're out riding whatever and you, you notice interference and you guys have to change channels, you can do it from the actual device, not have to go into the app. It looks like the physical firmware has to be done from the Senna Bluetooth device manager. Now, again, you can download that program from or for 
both Mac and Windows. I'm doing it on a Mac. Either platform will work just fine. Just realize, kind of follow the instructions. You know, I started with the device turned on and then turned on the app and got it, and it didn't, it didn't like that. You kind of have to have it plugged in, turn on the app, and then just kind of leave it and go through the next buttons. Uh, the next buttons don't like have a really good indicator that lights them up. They're just kind of gray all the time. So just kind of click your way through. Anyways, uh, there's your unboxing of the Senna Meshport Red. Uh, I would think the same process would happen via the Meshport Blue as well. There will be an updated video coming soon as we give it a try with, I think we have a total of three, maybe four riders. So that should be good. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you there. Links down below to where you can pick up the Senna gear. And uh, we'll see you guys next video. Later.